Now to a safety alert to tell you about a Pembroke Pines community is on edge right now after a teacher's aide was arrested and accused of molesting two teen students with disabilities. CBS 4's Anna McAllister spoke to a family who says their daughter was a victim last year. We're choosing not to identify that family because of the nature of the allegations documented by Pembroke Pines police. If that truth is terrible, if it happened to my daughter, I, I'm sorry, but I will go crazy. I will go crazy if anything happens to my daughter in school. Parents of students attending West Broward High School are rattled after finding out a school employee was arrested, accused of molesting two students at the school. Inside now, the problem is inside instead of the outside. It, it really, you know, really, it's really concerning. Pembroke Pines police say 53-year-old John Harrison Smith, who worked as a teacher's aide for students with disabilities, was arrested Tuesday for inappropriately touching two female students who are 14 and 15 years old. Police say both students have mental disabilities and verbal delays. This is such a great school, like you really wouldn't expect it. Like I'm just in shock from it. Police were notified about the incident on December 13th after separate witnesses came forward. The first case was last year in October around our birthday. Um, the school did not do much. He has been working here since I would say last April. He was moved off the premises, but then he returned to continue to work again with other children that have special needs. He was caught red handed and thankfully he was arrested, but it only took a year and two more victims. According to documents from Broward County Public Schools, Smith was previously reprimanded for inappropriate conduct with a student. Around the same time, Goyana said, Smith was charged with three counts of lewd and lascivious molestation, and police are asking anyone who has any additional information or may know of other victims to come forward. Reporting in Pembroke Pines, Anna McAllister, CBS 4 News Tonight.